Yo, my name is Brandon and in this video, I'm sharing the development environment, coding tools and productivity apps I use on my Mac to stay organized and get things done. Let's dive in. First up, my browser of choice, Chrome. Honestly, I stick with Chrome because uh, its developer tools are top notch, especially for front end work. And the built in debugging and inspection features just make the dev process smoother. So that's why I chose uh, the Chrome browser over any other browser. There are other cool browsers out there, but yo, I'm gonna stick with Chrome. Oh. Next up, Homebrew, which is a package manager for Mac. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, what the package manager is, it's actually an app, it's like an app store, but for command line tools and softwares. Instead of manually downloading and installing everything, Homebrew lets you install, update, and manage all your development tools with simple commands. Homebrew is super popular on Mac because it's easy to use, keep your tools up to date, and has a huge library of softwares. It basically makes managing your development environment way more smoother. Xcode, uh, it's a pool of feature development environment. Uh, beyond just coding, it quietly brings a bunch of essential development tools under the hood, like Git support, compilers, and debuggers. So even if you are not uh, using the full Xcode IDE, having it installed means your Mac has all the core tools you need to build and manage your projects. So it's very, very important to install Xcode. When it comes to managing and installing Java or OpenJDK, I go with the package manager called SDKman. Uh, it's a handy tool that makes installing and switching between different OpenJDK versions super easy. Instead of juggling multiple installs manually, SDKman let me switch Java versions smoothly with just a single command. It's perfect for developers who need to test or work with different Java environments without a hassle. Well, uh, to write Java, my go-to is IntelliJ IDEA. IDEA stands for Integrated Development Environment Advanced, and it's just one of the, those tools that makes you feel like a genius while coding. The auto completion is super smart, the debugging tools are powerful and intuitive, and the overall experience is clean and efficient. Yeah, apart from Java, other languages that I use are Python, TypeScript, JavaScript at times, and uh, it's been a game changer. And to install Python is very easy. Since we installed Brew, I'll just use the easiest way, no force, no version conflict, just Brew install Python 3 and your setup is good and ready to go, you know. Uh, now for coding, especially when, with the Python, Next.js, or React, any other library of uh, javascript i've been using Corso. well Corso is an ai fork of vs code so it's practically vs code on steroids and honestly it is incredible the ai gives smart autocomplete real life code suggestions and helps or uh, it even helps refactor code with just a prompt you can literally highlight a block of code hit the chat and ask it to clean it up or explain it and boom you're done <laughs> uh, it's not uh, it's not just uh, helpful for JavaScript or TypeScript. I use it for Java too when I want to write faster and cleaner codes. It's like pair programming with an assistant who never gets tired. So guys, use AI, but learn data structures and algorithm. All right. So when it comes to testing APIs, I use Postman. It is a uh, reliable, easy to use and pack with features like request history, environment variables, and pre-request scripts. It's basically my go-to when I need to test endpoints quickly or share collections with my teammates. But lately, I've been exploring API doc, which is like a postman on steroid or with extra magic. Uh, one feature I love is that uh, you can upload an open API YAML file and it automatically generates all the endpoints for you. No need to set up requests one by one. It's ready to test right out of the box. Super handy for working with documented APIs or mocking up fast test calls. 
All right, so up next, so for organizing my workflow and managing time, I use Notion. Uh, it's just, uh, it's more than just a note-taking app. It's my all-in-one space for planning tasks, uh, tracking progress, storing documents, and even journalizing ideas. I use it for everything from spring planning to daily to-dos. The flexibility is insane, guys. You can build custom dashboards, create linked database, and make it fit your style perfectly. Then there is Slack, where all the communications happen, whether it's team updates, quick check-ins, or sharing code snippets. Slack keeps everyone in sync. I've got channels for projects, bots for alerts, and integration with tools like GitHub and Notion. It's basically uh, the digital office where everything in between the actual coding gets done. And that's a wrap up. Those are the tools and apps I use on my Mac to stay productive, write codes, and keep my workflow smooth. If you found something useful or pick up a new tool to try, give this video a like and consider subscribing for more dev content. Uh, got any favorite tools of your own? Drop them in the comments down below and I'm always looking forward to try new stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.